ever got a new toy and thought, did curiosity really kill the cat? Well, let's see. She's not as light as some of the Chinesium I've got in the past. So what have I got? I got a second hand, multi-grid 248 volt, 3000 VA and 35 amp Victron unit. It's my first bit of blue and I'm bloody impressed already. And I thought, what better to do with a brand new inverter, second hand inverter, it's not covered by warranty anymore. So I think we'll pull it apart, have a quick look inside, see if we can learn something. Now I've never used one of these before, so if you've got any tips or tricks, feel free to do the YouTube algorithm a favour and leave something below. Point me in the right direction, I've got nothing to program it, apparently I need a USB stick and uh, and another one, one thing to program it and another thing to view it, I don't know, I've got to look into it, but please help me out. Um, so let's grab a screwdriver and get this undone and see what we come up with. So the size of the unit is approximately 7 18650s long and almost 4 18650s wide. It's got a little diagram there on the front. No LED panel or anything on it. So we just got, I'm assuming that these light up on there. On the bottom, we've got a couple of the glands missing. Got some DC cables that are on it and an AC cable that was plugged into it. So I'm not sure what that's for. I'll have to read the instructions. Um, a little power switch with two settings. Again, haven't read the instructions. Anyway, right, we've got one, two, three screws there and the same on the other side. Looks we've got one there. We've got a couple down the bottom. So we'll get all those out. We'll get the cover off and we'll have a look around inside. Nice and dusty in there. Another diagram. Ground, AC input, AC1, AC2 and battery. Special note regarding South Africa, maximum allowed impedance. There we go. That's this little cover that goes on the end. And inside, we've got AC, AC and AC. Not sure why we need three ACs. A relay connector, auxiliary, remote, VE bus, VE bus, and aux, IO, and then current sensor. And some more dust. And the battery in on that side. Interesting, I've never seen them with such long threads. Must allow you to put more cables on there. It's got a little separator in the middle. Interesting design. I would have expected that to be much chunkier, but it is only a 3000, oh, 2500 watt inverter, I guess. Anyway, pop the side cover off and have a look in there as well. Turns out there's two more in there and two more at the other end. Wow, we know where all the weight come from. Massive coil up that end. Now I don't know how long it's been since this was turned on, so I'm not gonna to touch too much inside of it. If you can offer any extra information about what we're seeing here, it would be much appreciated, because honestly, I don't understand it all. But we'll have a look anyway. So I've got a big coil, got a temperature sensor there. Uh, I've got a daughter board there for data. And that comes up to the LCD screen, all the little LEDs there. It's very well designed. Looking through the end down here, we've got the cooling that comes through. We've got a massive fan there. And I am just really having a look around because I really don't know. I've got a fuse down the end there. A couple of relays along here. It must turn off on and off the AC coming in. What else have we got that I can recognize? Not a great deal, unfortunately. A couple more coils down here, or probably filters. Just exceedingly clean and tidy. Well laid out, it's got good airflow, it's got nothing it doesn't need to get the job done. I don't know where the $2,000 price tag comes in. Maybe it's just copper. Research and development or something. Anyway, there you go tubers. 
a nice quick look what's in inside a Victron inverter.